Hi, I'm Rebecca Roth, the Image Coordinator in the Office of Communications here at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. Goddard is home to the nation's largest organization of scientists and engineers that build spacecraft, instruments, and new technology to study the Earth, the Sun, our solar system, and the universe. As Goddard's Image Coordinator, I work with the Center's photographers, and I find and share images supporting the stories posted on Goddard's website. I'm also part of Goddard's social media team, where we post images on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Flickr. We were selected as the top government account for 2014 by the Shorty Awards, which is sort of like the Oscars for social media. Overall, the goal is to bring Goddard's great work in science and engineering to the entire world, going beyond people who are already interested in space and science. We have so many unique and dynamic stories. This is stuff that's not just interesting to scientists and engineers, but it's interesting to everyone. Some of our most popular images by far have been blue marble images. Images that show the Earth, the full Earth, from space. There's something special about seeing Earth as if you were standing on Mars, or seeing the Earth from the moon the way NASA astronauts have seen it. Speaking of the moon, we have imagery from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, or LRO, that shows how NASA's mapping the moon in great detail. And who doesn't love a giant CME? Images from our fleet of spacecraft that stare into the sun are wildly popular as well. And then there are images that only NASA can get. Images of distant galaxies from the Hubble Space Telescope. And in the near future, the James Webb Space Telescope will bring us images of the birth of stars and galaxies. Images that are literally looking backward in time. Also popular are rocket launches, especially when there's a frog involved. This image from the Laddie launch was taken at Wallops and was a huge hit on social media. As soon as you look at these pictures, you're learning something new. And every time we share this stuff, we're reaching new people. As NASA learns new science, the public is right there at the same time, learning right along with us. As we share new data, new science, and new discoveries. We have amazing stories to tell, but we're even luckier because we have great imagery to use in our storytelling. And because these are NASA images, they're all in the public domain, so everyone can download them, publish them, reuse them, and enjoy them. So if you like what you've seen and you want to see more, come check us out online.